Wow, the anatomy of the spirit, Carolyn Mice. Oh, I can't even begin to emphasize how brilliant this and so many of her other books were. I mean, uh, Invisible Acts of Power, uh, Sacred Contract. Sacred Contract was also so profound. Her, her writings were so elegant, so eloquent, so moving and gave me great clarity for my own personal life. And I, I can't emphasize how wonderful her work is. This though was my first introduction to Carolyn Weiss and Anatomy of the Spirit talks principally about the spiritual or energetic anatomy, principally of the chakras and the messages they have. So the Ayurvedic principles or the traditional Indian principles of the chakra system from the base chakra to the all the way up to the heart chakra, throat and crown chakra, talk about the energetics of the body. And this book then talks about the symbolic nature of those areas and the influence that being depleted in those energy centers has upon your life and what things happening in your life can do in depleting those energy centers. For example, if you as a child grew up um, unable to communicate your needs, then you may have this powerlessness. You're not able to, you know, you were never given power to direct and control your life. And so that would be represented here in this central part, the, the third chakra here, and that can affect digestion and it can cool your energy and have these other health and metabolic effects. And if you don't speak your truth, if you're a person that holds back on your words and you don't communicate what's happening for you and you don't express your needs and the throat chakra can become blocked and you can see health challenges of regular colds or flus, um, throat infections happening and even throat cancers or thyroid disorders. So the anatomy of the spirit gave me this really first insight as a practitioner that the symptoms that we are experiencing in our lives are as much symbolic and energetic as they are physical and practical. So the ability to start reading people as they came into the practice more clearly when they would say, I have this neck problem, this issue that's there, I would start then asking questions about, well, what's the symbol, the symbolism of the neck? Is I, I don't see things around me. I, I, um, I don't, um, I'm, I'm stuck in a bent over position or I don't voice and express my needs. And so the anatomy of the spirit was a great awakening of understanding these subtle influences of the world as it has upon our energetic system and therefore how it then integrates within our health and that that subtlety is really the first level of change that we experience by the time we get to cancer or severe damage to the body we've been ignoring these subtle communications for a long time so this book was so profound to help me to understand the subtlety of the messaging system of our body based on the experiences that are taking place in the world and the lessons that has for us so so profound, so valuable, such a great insight. I know you'll benefit from reading this.